everyone, and welcome to the College Humor Podcast. I'm your host, Allie Beardsley. Joining me today, I have three wonderful coworkers of mine. Dare I say my three favorite? <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly oh, sorry no. to everyone else. Uh, we've got a great show for you. If you're watching this on Discord, thank you so much for supporting us. If you are watching this, what? on Discord. <laughs> if you're watching this on Discord, someone's put a link on there to Dropout, uh, which is probably where you're watching it. Uh, thank you for supporting Dropout, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving us all a job. We're having a great time. You two are currently working around the clock on a Dropout thing, right? Yeah. We're yeah. We were working on a show. We can't say what it is, but great. it's Dropout stuff, and we, we literally stepped away from it yep. five minutes ago, <laughs> and we're going right I think back I, to I just saw Jess answer an email on her phone, and then on your watch. I don't want to talk about the watch, but <laughs> you brought it up, so now i got to show <laughs> Anyway, watch. we're all hard at work. Yeah, it's, we're not sponsored by Apple yet. Uh, someone reach out. Today's show is sponsored by Disney. Um, okay, let's. Uh, who are you? So How about you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Denise. Hi. Uh, and I do makeup. Mm-hmm. And I definitely feel like we were saying. I definitely feel like a like a football player at a press conference. Yeah, because you're in a suit that you didn't pick yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're thanking God first. Yeah. All of us, I would say, probably have to thank God first before I, we introduce ourselves. Let's start down there. Um, <laughs> Uh, well, thank God for college humor <laughs> and for this opportunity. Um, but I am Shane Crown. Woo! I am a producer here. Mm. Um, I've been in sketches and on, on actually, but what I'm usually doing is crunching numbers. Mm. Cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I eat you hear those numbers crunch? <laughs> I would numbers. say maybe my favorite character you've ever played was, uh, and I'm sure you know who it is, <laughs> uh, the delivery guy. Yeah. 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 That was my Cajun favorite one to do. Del- yeah, no. Cajun delivery no. guy. Uh, can we get a taste of that? <laughs> yeah. The- <laughs> Go ahead. It would be an alligator. Oh. <laughs> Something about alligator. <laughs> oh, Raphael. Raphael. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to go come down? Uh, I, I did, Sorry, everybody in New Orleans. Sorry, Nolan. Denise was there when I like yeah. developed that voice. <laughs> because I got a call the morning of that like whoever was going to play that character uh, couldn't do it for whatever reason. Yeah. So like last minute, I had to step in, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, I can't do a Cajun accent at all. And clearly, from like the final video, I still can't do a Cajun accent. <laughs> but uh, I was like pacing back and forth in this room, um, trying to get the accent right. And Denise was doing hair and makeup on that sketch, and was just like giving me notes. <laughs> It's really an all hands on deck kind of work <laughs> atmosphere. Uh, yeah, you you're also responsible for a lot of props. I think. Did you? Yeah. One of my favorite things. I looked down and we had a bunch of fake books, and one of them was called "Cooking Without Looking." Was that you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. Sometimes when we can't like <laughs> afford to get somebody to do it, I end up having to <laughs> having to make the books. I love it. Uh, all right. Yep. Jess. You checked an email? Oh, no, I'm not checking an email. What you talking about? <laughs> um, I'm Jessica. Um, Who would you like to thank? Oh, um, God first. Uh, <laughs> then my family, my mama. Uh, mama, this for you. Uh, <laughs> but I'm, the, I'm a production coordinator with College Humor. Um, and, w- yeah, I just scheduled the shoots for whether it's Shane or uh, Frankie, who people think is Emily Axford in most videos. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I make sure that people get fed and that they get paid. Yeah. And then sometimes I'm in sketches, too. Yeah, you are. Yeah. yeah. I'm, All I'm, of you have been in stuff, right? You, yeah. were, you were in Total Forgiveness. Yes. You were accidentally. in another stuff. You did that yeah, hair not. One. You had a full yeah. scene. You did my gorgeous hair. Yeah, I was tricked. Oh. I'm guys. I I'm tricked. not here because I want to be. This is wow. <laughs> <laughs> this, I will just point I out. Just I've hung out with Denise so often, me. and you always find a way to say that <laughs> that you are not there voluntarily. That's because Even I'm at tied, my birthday party, I'm literally tied to your desk. <laughs> yes, that cord is long and it's retractable. You, and <laughs> you, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna retract the cord right now. <laughs> Denise is the dog. <laughs> 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 Denise is on a no choke leash uh, because I am humane. Um, all right. Well, uh, in typical college humor podcast fashion, we have a few things to get to. 
what should we start with? We've got a rejected sketch. We've got some questions. We've got a game. Hmm. Denise, it's up to you since you're so <laughs> upset that you're hanging out with me. <laughs> Let's start. Let's start with a sketch. All right. Let's get I like that. It. Okay. Great. Yeah. Everyone, we've printed out. Yeah. We've printed out some sketches. We'll just treat this like a normal writer's room. So usually when you bring in a sketch, right now I would love to yeah. uh, say a bunch about this sketch, but instead I'll just let us read it and we'll figure mm -hmm. that out together. We'll um, judge it from the read. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'll cast it. Uh, Shane, would you mind playing my <laughs> Nana? I will play your Nana. Great. And Jess, well, would you read Stage? Play. I'll read Stage. I read the first sentence and I was like, already one big word that I can't pronounce. <laughs> Here we go, <laughs> baby. <laughs> uh, sometimes Nana changes to Grandma, Shane. I don't want you to get confused. Okay, so I'm Nana <laughs> and Grandma. I call her both. <laughs> Just kidding, she died. I'll just do two different voices. No. <laughs> All right, Recipe, love you, Nana. Shirley. Oh, Shirley. <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. Oh, uh, what's really soap at your Nana's house? <laughs> Interior, cutesy grandma bathroom day. Sound effects of flushing. At the sink is a cornucopia. Ooh, good job. Oh, thank God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> thank God. <laughs> uh, fancy soaps, candles, and lace. A lot of smells here. Honey, please don't use the decorative soaps. Everything looks decorative. Thank you. Come on now, we've gotta to go to the Pressed Flower Festival. <laughs> Be right out. Nana putters around. Allie inspects the soaps and picks up a delicate rose-shaped soap. The second the rose touches water, it becomes a gross brown, greed, red clump. <laughs> the roses were a gift from your granddad, rest his soul. Oh no. Allie attempts to fix the rose, makes it worse. It's Nutella now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Grandma, where's the soap I'm allowed to use? Next to the next to the sink in that bowl. Allie looks down and everything is in bowls. Tons of bowls, <laughs> each filled with seashells, pearls, beads, buttons, and <laughs> gems. <laughs> <laughs> everything is in bowls. Allie spots a plain bar of soap. Oh, thank God. Careful. Some of those are candles. We see the bar of soap has a wick. It's a candle. What? Ellie grabs a cute bunny-shaped soap. It crumbles everywhere. I've had that bunny since your mom was born. <laughs> Allie freaks. She tries a butterfly-shaped soap. It turns to sand. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that butterfly was the only thing that I saved from our houseboat fire. Gah! Allie's hand hovers over a swan-shaped soap. I got that swan at a taping of <laughs> Sally Jesse Raphael. Allie, return, Allie turns the swan to reveal it's wearing a tiny red framed glasses. The fuck? It's a collector's item. Then why is it in the bathroom? Let's get a move on. All the heavy books might be gone. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Allie opens a tin labeled soap, and it's filled with scarves. She frantically <laughs> pulls at the scarves for a few beats and finds a used bar of soap. She washes, she washes her hands. I keep the dog soap in the scarf in the scarf <laughs> tin, so don't use that. This is so real. <laughs> Allie's hands are covered in dirty fur. Whatever. She pushes to the towels. Hands off the guest towels. Gorgeous decorative towels line the walls. I uh, won't. Allie pivots and dries her hands on the shower curtain. <laughs> Did you see my, ga my gown for the annual Daughters of the Re Revolution Ball? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Reveal it's a gorgeous dress hanging over the shower. The dress is ruined. The bathroom is a mess. Grandma walks in. Oh, my. Nana, I'm sorry. I can fix all of this. Oh, sweetie, don't worry about it. No, I, I ruined all your beautiful, delicate things. Light change, dark and mysterious. <laughs> I do it on purpose. I'm old, <laughs> and old women have fancy decorative soaps that they know will be ruined. After the first use, it's symbolic. Things start out beautiful, shaped like a swan or a rose, but the tragic passing of time turns them into a mushed blob, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Ali is trying to track the logic. Wow, I, I had no idea this was all so deep. So the seashells are, are old homes of living things that have passed away, and the pieces uh, are tossed around in the waves by... No, I just think those are cute. Yay. <laughs> Finish. So that was my first sketch I ever wrote here. That's so uh, funny. It's not thing made. I, the first thing I think is uh, we have half, half a day... Uh, 
We have <laughs> <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> and a message. Uh, we have half a day to get this stuff done. I think when you first got here, you didn't. Re- that's that sounds like a day of like everybody hauling oh. ass. Yeah, and trying to like all the setups and all the props that yeah. are like going to be ruined yeah. and yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it would have been a very complicated sketch to write. It also takes place in a house, like a bathroom. You're going yeah. to two different yeah. areas, so I feel like we were also like we rarely go on location shoots, but we would have had to find like a house that we could ruin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> My first thought is like, can we knock out a wall of this bathroom yeah. to yeah. get the camera yeah. and get all the angles that we need? Yeah, yeah. It was like, okay, let's just do this in the break room, uh, <laughs> and the grandma will just happen to have been here on a tour, and uh, <laughs> just the weird like production logic. Yeah. Of yeah. Things that you have to like bend over backwards yeah. to make something work. To make like, it a hardly office. working. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Katie uh, <laughs> is the grandma. And uh, <laughs> also, you have to be high um, to be washing your hands at your grandma's house. <laughs> no, like, that, you go and you rinse your hands, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe, and then you run back outside and play. It's true. It's so, true. I mean, I mean, yeah. that's what, that's why I wrote this sketch is because. I tried to use soap at my grandma's house and none of it was usable. It was all literally still in no, the shrink wrap and it had like a Ross sticker on it. And it was like, it's okay. Very real. Yeah. This was like, that's why I was reading it. I thought it was so funny because I was like, oh my yeah. gosh. Every grandma has like too many towels hanging yeah. up. Yeah. And they're like, don't touch that one. Yeah. Don't touch that one. That was yeah. just for decoration. I'm like, what the fuck do you have it then for? Then what can I use? Yeah. What? Yeah. Just paper towels. There's always the one kitchen. like hand soap dispenser, yeah. but it's like hand sanitizer yeah. for oh some reason. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is, this I, is I felt this one like the ruining the bathroom and like all the delicate little things in yeah. there that you don't know what they're for. Yeah. It, like I, I related to that so much because I remember ruining one of my grandma's towels yeah. with like my acne medication. Yeah. <laughs> that I like washed oh, my where face it bleaches and it. then dry and yes. it bleached like this very nice towel. Yeah, <laughs> and I remember so feeling funny. so bad about it. And when you're like, in, it's okay. when you're in the bathroom with that type of emergency, time stops. And you're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you're, the like, clock is ticking, and you can feel the okay. blue sweat coming down. <laughs> Cut the red wire or the blue wire. Yeah. I feel like in those situations, I always make it worse because I'm like, maybe I can use bleach to even it all out, and yeah, then I'm not like get it all over the place. You're like dumping worse. bleach all over. Like, oh, it somehow combust into flames. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like, what the it's fuck like is going high on? stakes it's, in like grandma's house oh situations. My God. I just will cry in the bathtub. Like, yeah. <laughs> Grandma, my grandma was a mean, she was a mean motherfucker from Mississippi. <laughs> so she didn't, we didn't have that issue. I had that with like older women in my family with the doilies and this and the that. Yes. But my grandma, yeah, that, that I, I mean, I get it, but my grandma like, you know, carried it like a shotgun. She Ooh. was not buying like seashells. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she didn't have a, a bowl of seashells and then a bowl of pearls. <laughs> you weren't breaking her shit. All yeah. her, she none was of like, her shit was breakable. That shotgun is the soap. <laughs> that shotgun is the soap. Be careful. This was clearly like an early sketch I wrote here because I I can notice something that stands out to me is the Sally Jesse Raphael moment Mm -hmm. is just so like, what the fuck, why? And like when I first started writing here, I was like, oh yeah, I'll just like write something crazy that I think of and it'll be a sketch. But like in the writer's room here, it's usually pushed like, so why did the tiny duck all of a sudden have Sally Jesse Raphael glasses on? And I'm like, cause that's funny. And they're like, okay, well it kind of has to mean something or, you know, have to do with something. Question. Uh, When did you learn that everything that's in that little brain of yours (laughs) has to get made? Like at what point were you just like, oh yeah, I'm going to cover myself in like honey and then invite (laughs) ants and, you know, like come eat my ass out. And you're just like, Allie. Wait, what the fuck? (laughs) Allie. so lost. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta make that happen. Is I gotta go find some for ants. All three of us? No, this is no. Fine. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta go find some polite ants. Some polite ants. Shane has I to wrote, order honey, Allie. I wrote a sketch. Yeah, yeah. 
I come to you guys. And yeah, well, we have like pre-pro meetings and there yeah. is always a moment of like, yeah, um, so yeah, I did write that. Uh, can you guys figure out how to do that? <laughs> you know? oh like, gosh. I need a trained stunt dog um, <laughs> and then a woman who speaks French and sign language. And um, like, it's, it's always, always with, with like, yeah. oh no, I'm sorry. It's always with like grant sketches where it's like, so, you need to fuck a hamburger. Exactly. <laughs> this what? is my point. Like, and I'm just. And he's that was like, an indirect yeah, I do. jab. I really at Grant. need to fuck the hamburger. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I guess we gotta make everyone watch that. <laughs> it's always at the very end of the meeting. Like everybody's avoiding that yeah, part yeah, of the script. Yeah. For That's the, so. And funny. then at the end, it's like, hey, so uh, yes, page three. Is. The, whatever happens, see at the top of page three. Um, <laughs> there's something that happens here. Um, how are we doing that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is. It is at the very end. We'll just be quiet and like. Oh, okay, someone's got to say it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a game of chicken to get somebody else to like explain yeah. what it means. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of like, what did you? What were you imagining in this oh, sketch? Yes. <laughs> it's like what we will ask the writers. It's also funny because like inside jokes will make their way into sketches, and then it's kind of like, well, because I remember we were making fun of the idea of Trap wearing like a uh, like backwards taxi cab driver hat. We were like, oh, Trap would look so funny with that like style which is like a very like style for a certain type of person but not trap at all yeah. <laughs> and so Rekha wrote it into a sketch and then she had to kind of like stand behind why she wrote that <laughs> and I think it was that sketch that was like now's the time like yeah now's yeah. the time that I stand it became up. like part of his character yeah and yeah. so it kind of was like Rekha was like yeah well that character might wear like a Kangol hat or whatever oh and yeah I, that and hat. then they had to like buy two hats for the <laughs> oh, shoot day God, that fucking Kangol. I yeah. just remember because it'll be like, oh, we need to get the can. And I'm like, who wrote this? Like, who it wrote even, this? It didn't even ask It was for a, one. just a throwaway joke, not even in like yeah. the dialogue. And it became like true. It, well, oh, I'm so glad I know the story behind yeah. the Kangol hat. I hope people notice it in the videos <laughs> yeah. because it does make its way in there yeah. a lot. Even I if it's hope, just sitting in the back. I hope there comes a point where uh, you guys have very little freedom. Yeah, yes. I'm going for it. Yes. And we actually like film the writer's pod because you guys are fucking hilarious <laughs> <laughs> and that has to be that has to be stripped away per uh per script or per um sketch oh Some yeah of it does, because you then know, we like, like step into like sketch yeah, mode so you step into sketch you know? mode you, you step into your writer's voice uh, as opposed to your uh everyday I'm a fucking horrible adult voice. It's <laughs> hilarious, guys. These guys are very funny. Oh my! We kind of did that a little bit in Total Forgiveness because yeah. we had some writers pod stuff in there. Yeah. But yeah, more more of that like behind the scenes of like what it looks like when we're all just like sincerely laughing yeah. about the dumbest fucking yeah. thing. Grant scream singing for yeah, no reason. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, I, I'm a trained singer. And then yeah, he starts yeah. singing the national anthem. <laughs> just he hearing Grant laugh at something <laughs> from across the office. It's like, we're all crazy. doing work. And just hear, it, like, Grant thinks of something mm -hmm. funny randomly during the day on his computer. Yeah. Yep. Nobody yeah. else is there. Yep. Yeah. And he'll just be like, <laughs> He smacks the table. We all have a grant. <laughs> 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 he goes nuts, and I'm always like, we, we all turn to look at yeah. him, and he's just like, it's funny. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> funny. Oh, that's funny. Oh, my oh God. that's funny. <laughs> Sounds like he's gonna take off yeah. into space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'll just like put, slowly put my headphones on, and, like get back yeah. to the budget. Oh my god, interesting, it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, this damn. is my first. Uh, this is my well, like maybe my second sit down uh, with just me being the star, and we're talking about fucking Grant. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, let's talk about you, Denise. Ooh, Woo! let's talk about you. I like it. What do you like? What do you do? <laughs> what do you really have to say about all the top franchises with a legal team that yeah. can sue us? First of all, uh, <laughs> you guys, and you know who I'm talking about, send me free shit. 
That's true. We if need you're honey, in makeup. We need honey. We need ants. <laughs> honey, we need honey. Ants. We need ants. I've got my ass. <laughs> so we got you really a third. The hole, I mean, we're good to go. We need a second ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, why? How many asses are we putting in this? Can you budget? We need this? a stunt ass. We, we need a stunt ass. We don't have money for this. Yeah, oh my God. Grant has yeah. shown his ass so many times on camera. I'm not trying to bring Grant in. Yeah, yeah, Grant. I'm just saying. <laughs> Remember the CH purge when he fucked the melon? Mm -hmm. And he was like fighting to make sure his ass could be in shot. Yeah. He was just like, I need to have my butt on yeah. camera. Yeah. There was a it. legal process. Of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do we show this? Can we show this? Well, that's what's crazy, too, is like the legal team will come back and be like, we can't do that. And you're like, that's the whole joke. Then what's the sketch? <laughs> Who is this legal team? I've never seen them. I don't know. It's one person. It's I'm calling you out. Listen, legal team. <laughs> no, don't <laughs> see me. Hit me up on my Instagram. That's legal. where I get crazy. <laughs> yeah. Makeup to legal. I'm going to meet you halfway. I'm going to beat you up. Uh, legal is relatively cool when it comes to the things that we do in the yeah. videos. Absolutely. I'm often very surprised yeah. at what slips by and like finding out that they like oh you saw that and you were okay with it great <laughs> yeah i'm thinking that they probably didn't i really do i think that they just kind of like there's these are really smart people it's a numbers game and they just kind of <laughs> like that's their way of having fun because they're always busy so you just kind of like they have like an office pool of what <laughs> goes and they're and just what, like approve that yeah don't approve just a bunch that. of yeah. puppet masters yeah they've the just curtain. been yeah. <laughs> they've been playing us <laughs> Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. They're I in New so York, too. right? I don't, I don't know. know. They're, They're in so Tallahassee. Well <laughs> watch them be in like Minnesota. <laughs> We're like, you, wait, uh, do you even watch the videos? <laughs> yeah. You've done makeup for a lot of comedy, right? Uh, we're not, we're yeah. not the onlys. Yeah. Uh, Buzzfeed. Mm -hmm. uh, Buzz, Buzzfeed. 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 Um, I, I've had a couple of brushes with Funny or Die. We've done some mm. Funny or Die stuff, but not directly with them. Mm -hmm. um, I, when I say we, I mean me. Yeah. Oh, wait, you have a team though, right? I feel like I'm always seeing yeah. my babies. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do have a team. I try to keep it local. Uh, my Jed from South Central LA. Mm -hmm. uh, we keep it super gangster in here. Uh, <laughs> I would say he's very yeah. hard. He's <laughs> scary. <laughs> he's a hard nut. Uh -huh. uh, they call him uh, Loco Macadamia. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, little sexy. Little sexy treat. Uh, yeah, I try to, and I am very protective, uh, which I, I don't think I really said to you guys, but I say it to the producers all the time. I'm very protective of uh, the cast. I am um, mm. like a fucking tigress mixed with a bear, <laughs> mixed with a gangster. Mm -hmm. I'm can picturing we, it. Can we, can we have uh, cause... Um, Coswell. <laughs> <laughs> can we have Denise, how high are you? Denise, how high are you? <laughs> can we have Coswell like drive There's out? three <laughs> ants in your asshole <laughs> right now. Oh, you Coswell, <laughs> where are you? Where are you? <laughs> oh my god. We'll draw we something up. A, Cut yeah. to a picture of what Please. Denise just described. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bear. Mixed with a bear and a gangster. <laughs> oh my <laughs> fucking gosh. Yeah, but we, uh, we, I think of this show as, uh, I don't know if we, so we can't say brands, fuck, a variety, a very popular variety show uh, that comes on the day before Sunday. Mm -hmm. Shout out Ego. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, but I, it's a poor man's that. And the, the stuff that comes out of you guys' brains, I am like super happy to be a part of yeah. because it keeps me on my toes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we don't have any money to like, <laughs> 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 I'm whipping this stuff up in my kitchen. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> in the maybe. kitchen here, we're whipping yeah. things up. There's yeah. like a bowl of blood in there right now. I yeah, think. totally. <laughs> I'll come take, in yeah. and just from context clues, I'll figure out which sketch is being shot. Yeah. Like I'll come in in the morning and be idea. like, which one is this? Yeah. Okay, there's a cake. Yeah. There's a duplicate cake that's melted. Yeah. A and then there's dildo. a bat. Yeah. <laughs> a table of noses. All right. Yeah. Yeah. There's a table of noses and there's a bird wrangler. Uh, I guess the bird is in use currently. The bird is in use. The bird is has been invited to set. That's my favorite thing. Uh, in in film stuff, 
uh, someone will come and invite you to set, which I think is very sweet. <laughs> That's a sweet way of saying, go do your fucking job. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> We'd like to invite you to set. <laughs> as though you could be like, I'm busy. <laughs> I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, well, how was the bird invited to set if none I of us speak <laughs> bird? <laughs> is that it? <laughs> <laughs> When did you feel, so this is your first, uh, one of your first sketches. When did you feel like, okay, like I'm home, I know what the fuck I'm doing, I know what's popping in these streets. Yeah. Um, I'm good now. I think I wrote this sketch and everyone like laughed and thought that it was really funny, but then ultimately they were like, I don't know if that many people have experienced yeah. like a really pristine grandma bathroom and also we would need a house and also we would need all these like exotic props yeah. and an old woman you know uh so i think it was i was starting to kind of like picture and then my next sketch that i wrote was gay at a sleepover mm. and that was more like oh we can cast the cast and even though that took place in a house too that killed it didn't it uh yeah that was a really yeah, fun a really one good video. and then we didn't need yeah. a grandma though and we did it Need a grab, but we did thing. need a mom. Yeah. They, 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 it was just ageist, really, why I wasn't able to make <laughs> yeah. this sketch. People were like, old people are gross, and you can't make it. Old people are gross. Old people are gross. But you can also tell how old it is because I'm sheed in it constantly. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote myself uh, very womanly, Yeah, which was fun. And now when, uh, when we read sketches, all the they, sometimes there's like back to back they, yeah. and it's like, and they talk to them, <laughs> <laughs> and you watch everyone kind of like, okay, yeah, we're figuring this out. Plur well, that was a yeah, singular day. No, <laughs> this, that was a plural day. Great. We're all writers. <laughs> we're all writers. Good. We it's know fun. It. But it's also fun, too, because like, the new writers came and all of their scripts for me have they. So I'm like, did an email go out? I don't know. Was a post-it note in their welcome packet that was like, by the way, Ali's non-binary. <laughs> they probably just watched the videos over and yeah, over and probably. over again and was just like, I need to make sure. I like that to I imagine them <laughs> tight. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so. What would you? So would you say that that would no? Because that was your second sketch. So like, what? What was the moment where you're just like, yeah, I'm here. I think it was like when I wrote Sleepovers When You're Gay, that was like, yeah. oh, cool. Like, everyone was really down for this. It got greenlit. Cause like, you pitch five sketches in the beginning of the week, two of them are picked for you to write. Yeah. You write them, then you get notes on what you wrote, yeah. and then you find out if it was greenlit or not. Got so, it. this, I got assigned, I got rewrites on it. It wasn't greenlit. And I was got like, it. okay, was really close. What should I change? <laughs> and then wrote the next one. Tight. But yeah, it is It is like you have to learn what makes sense. And I'm sure for you guys too in producing, like you could read a sketch and be like, I don't know if we'll make this. Like yeah. you know what we need in a sketch. If something is greenlit, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be at the top of our list of yeah, things Yeah, tell to me make. about that. Like what puts it at the top of the list? What makes it most executable? A lot of times it's like the money we have in a month, The like, if if we spend a lot on a couple of sketches, then like the next few are gonna have to keep the cost down. So not as much art, not as much mm -hmm. wardrobe, not as much like outside cast. Um, yeah, and things like that. So it, sometimes it's like I, I'm sure it's very like mysterious to to the writers. Of, yeah, like, yeah. This is a like I know this is a great sketch. Everybody loved it. Why is it like? continue to be in the greenlit pile and not get made and sometimes it's like just that element of like oh it's it in takes place in a times. bank vault yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. Or yeah it's at, it's literally at medieval times <laughs> which we need to get the rights to uh, I, love <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I i feel like so there's this part where you write a sketch and then you realize production wise you can't make it but i've also been in the situation where i've written a sketch and then realized i didn't want to act in it <laughs> like i wrote one where it was like way too hot yeah. so like reggaeton music starts playing and we all become really sexy and we're like dancing and we're like really sweaty and we read it and it did well and it got greenlit but everyone's just like us we are we're gonna all of a sudden be in like tank tops and like dancing in the office like to like a hot no. beat and we're like interesting maybe, like maybe a few of us or grant certainly would be down for grant, that we'll can we definitely all pull take this it. off <laughs> yeah uh i feel like uh 
this may have been talked about on this podcast before, but I feel like Katie always brings that up as like, <laughs> Katie will write something and be like, yeah, this is awesome. And then you're like, okay, Katie, we're making it. And then she'll be like, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you're I... like, you have to be bad at basketball or something. Yeah, She's like, yeah. I don't want to play basketball yeah, yeah. at work. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be shooting all day and you're going to be dribbling. Good luck. <laughs> She's like, drenched in sweat. No. Oh yeah, having to be sprayed down with a spray bottle. Yeah. It's like, you can hear a voice now. I hate this. Yeah. I hate this. <laughs> I am. Um, so I was super excited because of that budget thing. And I think that uh, what I, I guess I did notice that, but uh, the point that you made, um, I was told very early on about a Zach Oyama's hot Zach, H O T T, mm-hmm. uh, not hot Zach. Uh, Zach Oyama's sketch where his jaw was gonna fall off. That was greenlit. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was exactly a bunch. Of, yeah, so there was a bunch of stuff happening. I was so excited, so excited that I took like a whole class so that I can like make this thing from scratch. Uh, of his jaw falling off and like all this, you know, piece. Was it his nose, his mouth, or his like? I think the, the whole fuck thing is that like is his, he's like falling apart. Yeah. It was supposed to be like he's kind of like a fly. I, we may still make this. I don't know how much I can say about it, but it, it, it's like Zach, come back. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed you to be like one of those Zach. like <laughs> scenes in like a sci-fi movie where somebody's injured and they're like healing them. That somebody's like healing them up, but it's like still very sexy, even though they're injured in like a <laughs> oh, in a war. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny. And yeah. so he's like falling apart in the most disgusting yeah. way. Yeah, it's like that moment in movies where they're like suturing someone up, and then they realize like they're into each other. But yeah. it's like him, but he's like actually falling apart. And it's like yeah. I'm kind of into you. Yeah, yeah. And it's the funniest <laughs> script. <laughs> but and it was something that like we were talking to Denise yeah. about for a very long time, like before it was even, like I think it was greenlit, but it wasn't in the schedule. Yeah, um, yeah, I, it, yeah. things have changed so much. Uh, I think Dropout has maybe influenced that a little bit. Even back then, I think that was like maybe two years ago. It was two years ago, something like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, I, I don't, like I'm not sorry about it, because I think Dropout, is doing and will do so well. There's so much like new and interesting stuff to come. Oh, you mean with like big budget, like, hey, let's see what happens when we have the budget for like yeah. a full show. Yeah, hopefully like, we can sort of drop back in and uh, and visit yeah. and like, you know, amp up um, some of the CHOs as well. Like, you know, every once in a while, give them a, a payout with a, mm-hmm. with yeah. a CHO. All of us yeah. dancing sexy. And dancing hot. sexy. Yeah. That's gonna take a big budget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting Zach back. We know how difficult he is and how much he costs. Yeah. Yeah, Zach left because he asked for more money yeah. and everyone said no. So that, yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, okay, let's move on. Our first game, uh, it's up to you guys to guess. We have a bunch of, let me see. Like, we all hate clickbait. Uh, yeah. headlines okay Love they're them. always so misleading and crazy um, so it lures you in and it never pays off so this is a segment where Paul has picked out a whole bunch of clickbait don't know no one look at no one look at the answers at a whole bunch face. of clickbait headlines you guys have to tell me what you think really happened in the actual article or okay. the video okay based on the clickbait title yes. you ready Check on my eyes yeah, and take another shot. Check my, <laughs> my, my bra back on. Just Tell me French. about the moment when you wanted to put a bunch of ants in your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most confusing question. I was like, is this based off something? <laughs> All right. I wrote this sketch. Ready? You're scrolling the internet. Mm. Here it is. The first headline. Old man climbs the roof every day. What strangers do to his house? It's gone viral. <laughs> while while he's on the roof, <laughs> it's up to you. What do you think? Want to hear it again? <laughs> sure. Old man climbs the roof every day. What strangers do to his house? It's gone viral. What if they were like throwing frisbees on it every day? Like yeah. they were throwing things intentionally okay, to get draw sense. him up to the roof, <laughs> yeah. so you can do something to his house. This is so, <laughs> so you can rob man. his house. Climbs the roof every day. Is he? 
are they lighting fires and he's peeing them out? <laughs> That's a good guess. <laughs> you think you they would leave kids? that out of the clickbait article? They're like, he climbs the roof. <laughs> they, they do not leave with the pee fire. Old man pisses on the American flag every day. <laughs> <laughs> In that voice. <laughs> yeah. the American flag. These uh, people. Why is he climbing the roof? I but I assume also he's climbing the roof because he's like a man. Also, how hard is it to climb the roof? You know? <laughs> Women never climb. Never. The roof. Never catch chance. me. What is a roof? You guys ready for the answer? I would well, love to guess. hear an answer. Did you guess? I think I, I was with you. They, dr- oh, the they draw them up I there. Think they, they draw them up, up there? there. Or yeah. they're doing the like Christmas money oh, game. Something stupid. Oh, how wrong you all are. <gasps> he didn't pee it out. No pee Are they unrelated? <laughs> the old man has been replacing the shingles on his roof for almost three months, so the town decided to step in and help him. How many people? The town. <laughs> so the strangers doing something to his house mm-hmm. are people paying for his house. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's one of those feel good clickbait things yeah. like that makes it seem like a feel bad clickbait. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I want to be mad. They at wanted somebody. you to think it's going to be bullied. They, no one's going to be satisfied in this equation. People who want the good story aren't going to click on the shitty viral headline. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. shitty people are going to get a good story and they're not going to like it. Yeah. It's for nobody. It's for nobody. <laughs> the internet is literally no, for nobody. No, it's for the old people that think they can get away with having people fix their shingles. I get it. I get you it. You think he was really hamming it up? Like, He's like, oh, oh my body. Oh, oh so my gutters. <laughs> Can't clean them. I can oh, clean them. Oh, I could use some groceries. <laughs> ah, I'm on paleo. Remember. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> next one. Out of ten, I want you all to know. Let's okay, get this okay, clip okay. along. We got go. work to do. All right. Do it. Yeah. This man went blind because of... <laughs> I, thought it said, I thought it said Mickey Mouse. It doesn't, all right? Oh, no. This man we went blind because of a mistake many of us make every day. <gasps> Q oh, tips. Not supposed to use yeah. them in your ears. Oh, that's a good um. guess. I'm gonna guess he put in eye drops, but they like expired. Oh, that's a good one. You do that every day? I do. I got some dry <laughs> eyes, baby. <laughs> some dry feel eyes. Feel them. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come, Come feel them. Ball. Have you ever touched someone else's eyeball? I have. Isn't I that have, weird? I had to put a contact in. To, I had to. I had to put a contact in for my brother once. Um, wow. And it was like a really hard jab. Oh my god. So no. It's gross. Like I didn't like it. It made me feel uncomfortable. It, I, you, you didn't like touching that? your brother's oh, eyes. You've done it like probably a lot, right? Oh yeah. Putting contacts in other people's eyes. No. Yeah. Oh, no, like, like, HMU or something out. weird? Because yeah, huh. you have to hire somebody. That's like it's it's a it's a very expensive day. You have to hire someone uh, someone to come in who and put in like the color contacts eyes. or something. Yeah. Are you Whoa. serious? Whoa. That's a, insane. There's a contact wrangler that, that makes that sense. That comes though. from the eye doctor, and they happen to also be the bird wrangler, which yeah. is hard <laughs> and scary. Hard. There's a the birds put the contacts. <laughs> <Yeah. in. laughs> All of these birds with these cute eye colors. <laughs> cute eyes. The yeah, the bird is like popping. Yeah. The bird has purple eyes. The fucking bird lord. The bird sells LSD. <laughs> <laughs> Coachella. <laughs> hey, you party? Um, all right, great. Uh, okay, ready for the answer? Yeah. You, yeah, go for it. I don't even know what you said. Sorry. Boo. The man wore his contact lenses continuously for up to a week at a time, including bathing, swimming, and sleeping in them. Yeah. I was closest, kind of. So you were do I get a point? You do get a point. Well, let's Wait, keep why? Track. Is that a story? Somebody got paid to write that. Somebody I used got paid to wear to my ship that. for like three months. So. Don't really? Yeah. Don't when you, when you Some get you're contacts and you're a kid. Yeah. yeah. No, that we didn't have that technology at the time. I was just a dirty ass oh. kid. Yeah. So you, uh, you invented the I technology. I would go outside. I would run around. I'd smell like a like a dirty grasshopper. I'd come in. A dirty grasshopper. I'd pee or do whatever in the bathroom. Rinse my hands. Don't even use the soap. soap because you know whatever. Our okay. soap soap in black houses are <laughs> our little nub. They're like the shard. Are, my mom uses it until yes. it's at that little slit yes. piece. It's a shard oh of God, Irish spring. <laughs> I want to get up. That goes from the tub to the thing and you you just get yes and i'm just like yes (laughs) 
Yeah. Do you guys ever have that thing? I know I'm not from a black house, but where <laughs> your mom your mom dilutes the soap until it's water yes. and it's just shooting out yes. at you. That's mom, what my yeah. mom would do. My mom would yeah. cut open the lotion bottles and make sure to get the like last bits in there. And I'd oh. be like, Mom, you can't like the plastic cut you. Or the the toothpaste too. You yeah, can cut would, off the back oh and then you're. I love this. My dad told me that that's what wealth is: is when you stop having to do that. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's so. Shane's funny. dad is a lawyer. I don't think he's a very good one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally rich. That? I can throw away a shit ton of lotion. <laughs> throw it. Be gone. All right. Uh, all right. Next Sorry, up. Sorry, Mr. Crown. It I seemed him. like he's just walking his dogs. When I looked closer, I was dumbfounded. What? Oh, my God. Was it dumbfounded? Oh, I know what this one is. He's walking like a wombat or something. Like a yeah, cat or like a wombat. Be. I love that you started with wombat. <laughs> if it's wombat, you cheated. I think his dogs were walking him. Ah, oh, yeah. Which is really just like a state of mind. That you guys are going to hate this one. I think it's going to be a child. Oh, no. <laughs> because You're you know how those it. children... Well, oh, I, I guess children are on leashes. Oh, I was thinking yeah. About, do you know that girl, yeah. that video of that girl running like a horse? There's that... No. <laughs> no. There's a little girl that... Like, Pull it up now. Run, like, Are you yeah. jumping Make over bait. the horse like hurdles and she's just running on all fours? I'm imagining wow. that. So. so it looked like he was walking a dog, but really it was a young girl <laughs> jumping hurdles as a horse? Yeah, cool. You might be right. Hey, you but might be right. But actually it was a horse, but actually it was a little girl. <laughs> all right, initially it seemed like the man in the video was just walking his dogs, but when you look closer, you will notice that none of the dogs are on a leash. I hate this. I hate it. It's <laughs> bad. It's bad. You That's came not at news us for that one. or anything. <laughs> that one came. These are bad. Um, okay, you're the only one with a point thus far. Oh, wait. Oh, we I didn't have, know points were this, involved. Is this the competition? <laughs> it is. And Jess is winning. We have four left. You guys can get on the board. Right. All right, ready? <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Bear with me. I didn't write these. All right. <laughs> Cop puts a homeless baby in his squad car. Where he drives next? I'm speechless. <laughs> speechless Shut in speech. all caps. What? I imagine these people just like room. watching the, the witness of these events, yeah. just like <laughs> <laughs> the look on their face as they see this. And they horrifying immediately video. write this clickbait <laughs> bullshit. Oh my god! <laughs> Bring me to Facebook. Yeah. Like, oh my. God. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. also a homeless baby. Interesting. That's a loaded one. That's a loaded um, one. I feel like he took him to like Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, I'll okay, say something sweet. Yeah, yeah. He, he I said like, Mickey I'm Mouse. Adopt him. Hmm. Oh, baby wait, crap. you. He's taking him to Chuck E. Cheese to adopt him? <laughs> Do you think that's what happens at Chuck E. Cheese? What? what? People what, don't what get adopted Chuck e. at Chuck E. Cheese? That's why my mom never took me. <laughs> <laughs> because I was born. I, I didn't get to go to Chuck E. Cheese. That's for adopted kids. I wish. Anyone? We're the homeless. We're the cop. We're also in the squad car. You don't just have a baby car seat yeah, in yeah, a squad no, car. Don't. So, like, is it just a loose baby. homeless baby? Yeah. In the with, back seat. With, does it have little handcuffs on? <laughs> it has one handcuff around its neck. Wait, that's. I didn't, mean, I didn't. I meant like comfortably, <laughs> like comfortably, not no like. Such thing. I'm not. Oh, that's choking fine then. <laughs> yeah, that is. It fine. just has the other hook just hanging down. I'm just saying that's the only part of a baby that a handcuff would fit on. All right, yeah. you guys want the answer? Yeah, I need the answer. Just I thinks. Oh, you think you're right? Guess? No. Maybe? I think they're going to the car seat I just want to imagine a baby oh, on its little stomach being handcuffed for being a bad kid. A you bad want baby. to imagine that or I you do. don't? I do. Okay. All right. Oh. A police officer named Che Atkinson brought a woman and her child who were the victims of domestic violence to a hotel and also brought them food. Okay, we didn't know a mom was involved. We didn't know a mom was, was involved. <laughs> there's yeah. no, there's so, no Chuck E. Cheese. These are all just lies. Yeah. <laughs> these are just all like, like lies. Uh, honestly, what we should do, and I'll give points for this. Guess if it's a happy story or a sad story, <laughs> and I feel like then you'll get a point. Okay, okay next one. I'm good yeah. at that. Four girls put a camera in their car. <laughs> Four girls put a camera in their pussy. Ooh. When they, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Four girls. One camera. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are they sharing? One camera. Four one girls. Camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's another speechless one. Get ready. Let's all say speechless together when I get okay. to it. Ready? Okay. All right. Four girls put a camera in their car. When they look up, I'm speechless. speechless. What do you think? This one has a paragraph. That I'm going to say it, it's a sad way. story. When sad they look story? up, 
<laughs> when, when they look up, four girls put a camera in their car. When they look up, I'm speechless. <laughs> you know, all right, so, get in your car, get it, put in the look keys, up look up, yeah. <laughs> check your mirrors. Check four your girls mirrors. put a camera in their car and look down. When they look up, I'm oh speechless. Boy. <laughs> oh boy, Always yeah. remember, they, that was the first thing you learned in driver's ed is look up. Look up. Don't That's look where down the road anymore. Is. <laughs> Do you think it's happy or sad? God damn it. I said sad. Sad? Yeah. I think it's happy. I, Ooh. I think it's strange. That wasn't an option. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, I think it's, it's either, strange. though. I think that's not an option. Strange. <laughs> They're all strange. strange. It's clickbait. No. I mean, all right, like, are the you ready? Stories. Anything can happen once you look up. If it's strange, cameras. though, you'll get that point. Oh, boy. This is a long one, and I'm worried. <laughs> okay, get ready. In the video. Four teenage girls give a show-stopping synchronized routine to Fifth Harmony's pop hit, Worth It. <laughs> they can be seen having the time of their lives when suddenly something unexpected happens. The phone beeps with a text message. The driver glances to read the message and then she crashes the car and they all die. The video is a staged PSA against distracted driving. That's a point. Happy story. That's a point. Yeah. No, it's a PSA, and more people are educated yeah. because of it. Yeah. You're sad as fuck. No, you're sad when you watch it. That is though. sad. You're that is sad. no. It was sad. sad. You're Four listening. girls put a camera in the car. When they look up, they die. <laughs> <laughs> they die. All right. Final one. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's yes. do this. He caught an old man doing this to a soldier's grave. Now it's going viral. Peeing out of fire. Peeing out of fire. Yeah. Saying, That's throwing frisbees. <laughs> throwing frisbees. You get, everyone gets happy or sad, and this will be the final countdown. No, the last one. So good. This is the last one. There's no one in the head. Subway or something? Let me see. Did you skip one? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. good. All right. I'm going to say it's happy. I'll go happy this happy? time. It's absolutely happy. It's happy? Because <laughs> it's a soldier. This news source wouldn't report on something serious in this context. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the old man was watering the grass. Is that it? That's happy. No, okay, here's the oh. final one. I uh, I skipped one because it was long, but I hear it's worth it. <laughs> Let me work it. Let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> all right, ready? A homeless man heard a woman screaming. Now keep your eye on his shirt. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> ah, keep an eye on his shirt. That's what happened? No, that we that's just the headline. <laughs> what? And Keep a it homeless man, okay. a man experiencing homelessness, by the way, he's not marked by the fact that he's homeless. Thank you. Thank you. Heard a woman screaming, now keep your eye on his shirt. <laughs> Happier is that sad. what the woman's screaming, or is this a separate <laughs> thought? <Is> this <laughs> Honestly, who's to say? It's a. This isn't helpful. Is that helpful? It starts off as a headline and then turns into yeah. an illusion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all. Of it's a life. magic eye. <laughs> what the fuck? I think that's what the shirt is. I think you reveal that it's a shirt that like is one of those like hologram. <laughs> like you turn yeah. it and it's something else. I feel okay. like fancy. And the and the fact that someone's home. Irrelevant. Very irrelevant. irrelevant. All right, great. I feel like someone took her shirt and she's oh. like, keep your eyes on that shirt. Like, she's yeah. trying to get like it back. Like, follow that car? Yeah, follow, yeah. But it's like, of, follow yeah. my shirt. <laughs> follow my shirt. No, that one, he's wearing it. <laughs> like, screaming. Honestly, it. all of these have truly had like a psychedelic effect on yeah. me. I feel so crazy and not <laughs> in touch with reality. Yeah. Normal because logic like, doesn't like, apply to these. The truth <laughs> is that someone went to college. And answered an ad for a job that said <laughs> must have a like a, a bachelor's degree. A bachelor's degree in creative writing. Yeah. And then they got this job and this is what they do. All Can right. Can you lie? Do you think about it's happy or sad? Hear? Do you think it's happy or sad? <sighs> happy. Happy? Yeah. You don't look okay. Happy? Sad? Say sad. Sad? Happy. Happy? Wow, Ugh. two happies oh, and happy. I also say sad. Sad. 37-year-old Maurice did something heroic on the New York City subway okay. when he headbutted an attacker Ooh. who pounced on a woman passenger. Maurice dragged the subject to the police station and saved a day. What a good Samaritan. Wow, this author like is bullshit. really putting their own... <laughs> Unfortunately, the video was taken down from the site, so I can't see how his shirt ties into the story, <laughs> Paul. <laughs> so, honestly, now keep your eyes on his shirt meant nothing. Uh, well, that was a rousing round oh. of... <laughs>
<laughs> of what God, fresh hell country. is this? <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Best game I've ever Keep played. Keep your eyes on that shirt. <laughs> it's like, get, get it's always that. so like, you know when you first meet a friend who's like, I'm into comedy and all their jokes are like, dead baby jokes. Wow, we're so <laughs> dead baby. Like, that's what it feels like. No, like, Bait is always like, and this, and this. Like, these are all like definitely pitches from like, oh God, YouTubers. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I can yeah, hear yeah, them all yeah. be like, okay, I got a good joke about a baby dying. Yeah. <laughs> it's homeless. This baby dies. Baby wrapped in American flag gets eaten by who? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> laughed at something I, they said once and now they're yeah, just yeah, on the they're track. Like, they won Cards Against Humanity once and then they were like, I'm on to the next. <laughs> I'm on to the next. I have a pack of cards in the moon. <laughs> These are all just Cards Against Humanity lines. Uh, bees. <laughs> I hate it. Bees in my dick. Um, <laughs> who has the questions? I hear we have two questions. Oh, we do have two questions. Denise has one and Shane has the I've got one. Thank you, ants. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the ants were like, here! <laughs> uh, this one this. is from QT Patutius. Mm. Has there ever been a mishap or something that, didn't foresee, that you didn't foresee during a shoot that ended up working in your favor? Ooh. Was the working in your favor part the thing that's stumping you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, mishaps. I know so. Mishaps definitely it's working been years, in my favor. Bro. Hmm. Years. Interesting. That's a great question. I yeah. think uh, here's okay. Here's what I have to offer to this: is that uh, I think everybody is so sort of tuned in, and I think also we have a plan A, B, and C. They, we, these contingency plans are just sort of built into our, like sort of uh, each individual department. So when things don't work out, it's hardly noticeable um, because there's always a backup. And also we live in LA guys, like you can just snatch up, at least for like mm -hmm. hair and makeup and stuff like that. You just kind of snatch up something from a, you know, uh, somewhere out there. Yeah, um, totally. I'm, I'm really trying to think of it because I know there has yeah. been, but I'm trying to figure out. The things yeah. I think of are like running out of time on the day and we yeah. have like four shots left and it's like, let's combine them all into like a one -er, Yeah, just like a single mm -hmm. shot and then it ends up being like a very cool, carefully crafted thing that's Ooh. like, oh, we didn't need all those different setups. Yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, which is like, oh yeah, it looks like we planned it from the beginning, but no. Yeah. Damn. I'm trying All to right. think of something. Well, I'll see you guys later. I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> these takes off. That was my question. Cool. Come on. Uh, I want to do the yeah. same question. The, uh, I don't have any. Um, this is from somebody, I assume. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't say. From yeah. Paul. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is from Paul. He has a lot of questions about the company. Paul, you can ask Monkey anything. three thousand. <laughs> Paul McCartney. You don't have to invite me on a show just to. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm will you always go available. Out with me? <laughs> uh, will you go out with me? Oh. College humor staff members frequently pop up in sketches, often in the background, but even as leads in sketches sometimes. Can you talk about how this happens? Are there auditions for these parts? Who gets to be in them? <laughs> Do the majority of people who work there have an acting or comedy background? Mm. Um, so a few, a few different questions. Paul, here. But the first one, like, uh, this how, how Paul's this smart, guys. So he went to Yale. <laughs> <laughs> and he authored most of these clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> Side job. <laughs> um, so yeah, how it happens that uh, college humor staff members show up in sketches. I've always said like the, the cheapest the cheapest person you can cast in a sketch is the producer. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's somebody who is like, yeah, I don't need to get like paid for this or anything. Like, I just want to do it just to keep the cost down and just to do it. So whenever there's something small, I'm always like, yeah. I'll do it <laughs> if yeah. you'll have me. Uh, yeah, totally. Um, that was like a three-parter. Mm -hmm. It is. I do a lot of improv and acting. Yeah, I, th I would say a lot of people yeah. in the office, like we know each other because Yeah, because we're all done UCB, UCB or we're at we do, Second like, City. Yeah. yeah. And um <clears throat> um but <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. But yeah, I think I have Reka what at one point was my improv and sketch 
coach and director oh, for a very cool. large time. And Brennan was my 101 improv oh, teacher. Nice. And um, oh, no. Grant was also also about to be my coach. So I think a lot of the cast somehow I've touched base with um, because of improv or sketch in some way. But I do love improv and I do love um, just sketch in general. And I have a big, I have a big knowledge for nerd stuff. So anytime yeah. uh, the cast want me to be in a sketch, I do take the chance and opportunity because it's also like, this is stuff that I've been watching since I was like fucking, like eleven, and I was like, oh my god, like, young Jessica would be like, holy shit. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it's totally. Like, it's nice to look back and be like, holy fucking shit. Um, yeah, Jessica, do it. I wonder if there's any, if there are any other young Jessicas out there. Do you have fans yet? Probably. Like the Ooh. office folks, do they have fans? There was a couple. Oh, on my first time, actually, I got a lot of, um, is Jessica single? I got a, um, actually, is Jessica single? Uh, and then I got, like, a message on Instagram from, like, some guy that was like, are you single? Uh, <laughs> um, I and what am. did you say? <laughs> hey! I'm looking for love. But, she, <laughs> but guys, she laughs and coughs like a Yeti, so I do. fucking watch it. I do. I cackle. <laughs> I cackle. <laughs> but I make a mean breakfast. Um, <laughs> bitch myself. <laughs> I know the question didn't involve that. I, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Who here makes a mean breakfast? <laughs> um, I guess I do. Uh, <laughs> if we're looking, I guess going to the end, the bottom part of like, do people do have to uh, have an acting or comedy background? Not. I don't feel like not necessarily. It's just that um, if they are staff in the office and they are like, hey, I'd like to do something like this, yeah. then you guys absolutely give them the opportunity to. I know we like to work with like very cool people who are very like good to work with and like we want to be around them like that's part of hiring people here like apart from doing their job and being very good at it they're also great people so it makes it very easy then to like have people step in in these sketches totally. when we need people mm -hmm. that's like in uh um tina fey's book that bossy pants book she talks about like when they were hiring writers for like 30 Rock and it was like, yeah, he's like funny, but do you want to be in the hallways with them at like 10 p.m. when you're like rushing to get writing done, you know? It's mm -hmm. like yeah. you still take into account like, is this like a, because there are a lot of funny people, so then you can go one step further and be like, are they cool? Like, yeah, do yeah. they get it? Are they interesting? Absolutely, like, I get that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, I was just wondering if, just to add on to that, uh, that Yale question, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guys sort of, when you see new folks in the sketch, I guess we haven't really, really had like a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of like office, like editors will jump in, like crossover, but like when you're writing a sketch, is it ever like a hindrance to have us in there? Because I know I was nervous as shit when Grant wrote me into. Um, I don't know what the official name is, the but hair, it's like uh, five stages of haircut. Mm -hmm. I think is what it yeah. is. I'm just like I'm fucking nerd. Like I'm, I don't know <laughs> so how to like. You're so good. But that's you're the thing, great. guys. I'm good at stuff. I wasn't good at that. You were like no, chill the entire good. time. Yeah, I can. Video. Oh you yeah, you were so no. you came off as really chill, like I, okay, and then you listen, went just higher. <laughs> you we're not gonna get back on Grant, chill. but <laughs> <laughs> like is that is that no, a not at all. I okay. love it. Yeah, we write so many sketches, and it's like amazing to have more and new people. Okay, in them. so I don't think there's any sort of like protection or anything. You Got shouldn't it. feel nervous. Yeah, it's one of those things, and I've seen this a couple times too, which is uh, it's going back to this question uh has there ever been a mishaps that you didn't foresee that ended up working on your favor there have been a couple of like outsiders that we've hired i don't i mean it's just the truth and like you'll feed them like they'll get nervous or whatever it is and like you'll feed them a line and they just won't get it um it ends up working out mm -hmm. but like i th i thought that that's hilarious for me to be sometimes you guys show up on on um so some of the writers show up on sketches that they're not on not very often because they're fucking busy <laughs> um but it's just one of those things where like and on the day and in the moment i'm like oh, could have given this person like lighter lines or whatever like does that make any sense there was there was just one sketch in particular where um this person can remember the line and so it was being fed and so it was like seven or eight takes later <laughs> it was like hey yeah. it's uh, uh i remember this today. day i remember and they're this like day, yeah Ugh, get yeah. in the blimp tomorrow yeah, no, yeah. wash yeah. the car today 
Oh, get in the blurb yesterday. <laughs> I, that was also yeah, like, damn it. <laughs> that was like an issue of like an actor, actor, sure. I think. And sure. I usually think so we have too. like co- comedian actors that have like a different vibe. To yeah. Them. yeah, I remember. It was like, ooh, okay. Yeah, we'll get to this eventually. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like something that Grant, it's kind of the same th- shit that Grant does because when Grant starts laughing, yeah. we all on set, all yeah. of us are just like, Grant breaks. Well, yeah. like it's going it to take comes like out, 20 yeah. minutes Grant to breaks get back. so fucking much. And, yeah. But I get that moment of just like if you have that line and then you just keep fucking it up but everyone's like it's this you have it the first I'm like I don't know when you turn that camera I'll just keep fucking it up yeah. <laughs> like, fuck. this episode yeah. has been- sometimes that'll happen when it's like when something has to be cast yes. instead of like oh what what great comedians do I know who could do this yeah. it's mm-hmm. like oh this has to be a very specific like weird uncle or something yeah. like weird <laughs> uncle character yeah. it's like oh i don't know anybody who could play this weird uncle so we have to find somebody from yeah. the outside and go through like a casting yeah. process sometimes we do auditions but sometimes it's blind sometimes yeah. we're working so fast that we are casting blindly yeah. that it's like we have a resume we have pictures of them sometimes a video of them taping like an audition from home or something but we don't know them mm-hmm. uh, and then that's when we get in those in situations just like oh this person can't Say a line, yeah. yeah. Um, which is always, we always find a way. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, something totally. on set where it's like, yeah, yeah. We yeah. can. There are. It is such a safe environment. There's. Yeah, you can do it yeah. a thousand times, and then you can edit it a thousand different ways. <laughs> and there's always a way to do it. And at the very at, at the end of the day, it's like, well, if it looks silly, it's comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Safe. Wow. Well, Safe. I think that's Safe. it. I think it's time to wrap up. Woo. Beauty. Grant Grant had a big uh, presence in this episode he and did. I, I think like he, he would be happy to hear that. Yeah. yeah. He wrote all those clickbait articles. Um yeah. uh, <laughs> he definitely did not pay me a little extra <laughs> <laughs> to do that. Yeah. Uh well thank you so much everyone for watching. Uh thank you guys for being yeah. on the cast yeah, and getting to know you a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Some people that you have all seen. Uh, but didn't know. Uh, can they find you guys online anywhere? Ooh, Any plugs? That's a good question. Well, honestly, anytime anyone comments under a video that I did about makeup, I will definitely go and egg them on. <laughs> uh, so watch out for me. Uh, <laughs> but I am on uh, Instagram as one underscore AF1, and both of the ones are spelled out. Mm-hmm. Figure that out. I don't think anybody who's on the, the shit end of the millennial stick is going to is gonna figure out that. Uh, one is fuck one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll see. What does it mean? I want followers, that's all I'm saying. What, do, what does it I mean? I need power. <laughs> it's it's one of one, but one of one was taken. Oh, got it. Oh, so I it's like phonetically. One one. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> no, phonetically, one F one. One F one. I don't know. Um, you can find me on Instagram. I'm Lulu Clemens, not to be confused with Lulu Lemons. Um, <laughs> that's the play on the word. Um, I also, it was never your intention it was, to come. Yeah. Lulu Lemon, don't you come at me! Yeah. <laughs> don't you come at me! Or do and sponsor. Oh yeah, give me some yes. badass leggings, girl. <laughs> um, I also have a sketch show every third Friday in the Acme Theater in North Hollywood. Hey. If you want to come see my sketch team, Dad Jeans. Dad Jeans. Dad Jeans. That's amazing. <laughs> Um, I'm on Instagram. Uh, it's <laughs> Crown in the DM. Yes, it is. <laughs> it goes Last Crown, name, in, the Crown DM. in the DM. Crown in the DM. If you want to see all 12 <laughs> photos that I put up there. <laughs> Old man Crown in the DM. I like, get like thousands of followers and like yeah. no presence on It'll my... be like, great, everyone's going to unfollow <laughs> Your me immediately. <laughs> uh, but also in uh, Um Actually. Uh, yeah. So I do a couple more episodes of that You're that I think are coming You're crazy out. good so in Um yeah. Actually. It's check that out. Our little savant producer. Yeah. Um, All right, well, great. See you guys on the next episode. Hey, what's up? It's Allie. If you like college humor and you want to support us, please sign up for Dropout. For the low, low price of a bag of crickets for your pet lizard, you'll get videos a whole week sooner to chat with us in the Dropout Discord and exclusive content such as my show, Total Forgiveness. By the twilight's last gleaming. Sign up for your free trial today and please send me a picture of your lizard. (laughs) I want to see her. (laughs) I want to see her dance.